welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a taste test slash a Danish girl trying out some British candy. Woo woo woo! And let me just say one thing that makes me extra freaking excited for this video is that it is almost all chocolate. And if you know me, I'm not really into candies or lollies or anything like that. I am much more into chocolate. I got actually all of the things from a store called Candy Mega Store here on like spare actually and the store was amazing great customer service it was so nice try to help me to find the right picks and so on for me and my likings yummy so I've got all the candy or all the chocolate right here and if you know these kinds of taste tests I'm obviously gonna be rating the different candies and chocolate bars and so on on a scale from 1 to 10 happy smiley candy faces and wearing red lipstick was probably not the best idea, but we're gonna work with it. So without further ado, let's get right into this big bowl. Da -da 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 -da. So the first thing we're gonna try out is a Vispa bar, and this is from the Cadbury brand. Most of the things I've got here is actually from Cadbury, which is I think the biggest, like it's like Hershey's in the US. And this is the Vispa aerated milk chocolate bar aerated. Is there air in it? What? And it's got that classic Capri purple um, color. I really like that one when it comes to the wrapping. It looks really cute. Let's have a look at the inside. Oh, and it's suitable for vegetarians. Woo woo! I've got you covered, veggies. So there really isn't any pattern in it. It just looks like a standard regular chocolate bar. It smells quite good though. So without further ado, let's say cheers. Mm. On the inside, there's these small air pockets, as if they're small holes. And I guess that's where the aerated thing comes from. It doesn't feel like a standard normal chocolate bar, if you get what I mean. There's definitely some air in it, so it's much more light. You can see on the outside of the chocolate bar, it's got that chocolate cover. And then on the inside, that aerated milk chocolatey thing. I'm not even sure how to describe it, but it tastes good. A great snack. Mm. I don't know. That was a really great start. I would probably say that on a scale from 1 to 10, I would probably give it an 8 happy smiley candy faces because it was really enjoyable, not too sweet either for me, and um, it had a great snack. We've got a Danish thing where we say Kenton for Knigel, note by the snack. Let's move on to some Cadbury Dairy Milk Biscuits, which sounds really, really lovely. And I like that you can actually see the actual biscuit right here. They're Sister Bull's Shortcake Biscuits smothered in smooth Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate. Oh my god, it smells amazing! bigger actually so they're just these small squares as you can see nothing fancy just a little biscuit a little biscuit a little biscuit okay so let's say one two three cheers yeah that is good actually reminds me of my childhood <laughs> This tastes like childhood to me. This really reminds me of those small chocolate cookies that I was used to getting when I was a child. They're not fancy in any way. I would say if there's one thing that I would fall about them is that there isn't enough crunch in them. I would have liked them to be a bit more snappy and a bit more crunchy, but they're very easy to chew, I guess. Great for old peeps. <laughs> so for the Cadbury Dairy Milk Biscuits, I would probably give them a solid 7 out of 10 happy smiley cami faces because it was good. As I said, if I was to rate them any higher, they would have to have a bit more of a snap in them, but they were good, they were enjoyable, and once again, I really like the packaging. Now let's move on to the Galaxy Duet um, chocolate bar which I've never heard about before. And this is with toffee and popcorn taste, which sounds really, really crazy to me. I've never tried chocolate that tastes like popcorn. And there's a picture right here. I don't know if you can see where there's small popcorns in the bar. It's kind of like divided into two sections. So one with the toffee and one with the popcorn. And let me just say the packaging of this one is really cute. I actually really like it. So as on the picture, it's got two kind of like sides on it, kind of like a Twix bar or, I don't know, Kit Kat. It actually smells like the chocolate that you get in advent calendars for Christmas. Like chocolatey advent calendars. But I don't mind it. So let's say cheers. Oh. Ooh. Mm. So 
let me just show you the inside really quickly. As you can see, here's the toffee just running out. <laughs> And then over here is the small popcorn-ish things. Does it taste like popcorn? Not really. But I actually like eating them together because you get something soft with the toffee and then a bit more of a crunch with the popcorn. A really great mix actually. Let's have a bite more. Now we're good. Sorry. Gross. Ew, my lipstick. I actually start to get why they say popcorn flavor because it is a bit more of a salty, a salty, toffee kind of taste that you get. It's a bit of a sweeter chocolate definitely than the other ones that I've just tried, but I would say that the, because there's another flavor in it and because of the popcorn that's a bit more salty, it doesn't go too overly sweet. So to me, this is definitely an 8 out of 10. Happy smiley cami faces. Next up, we've got something from Cadbury. It is the Cadbury Flake. The crumbliest, flakiest milk chocolate. What the F? I've never seen chocolate like that before. Where am I supposed to open it? <laughs> what the hell? Will you help me? There's a hole! Fire in the hole! So here is one of them. Still the same kind of packaging, but it's just a long one. Wow. It looks like a tree or something like, like bark or whatever. I've never seen chocolate like this before. A for effort on the packaging or on the texture. That is so cool. It's kind of like swirly and yeah. Shut up, that taste. Cheers. Oh my god. I need to try one more. That was weird. Mm, that was freaking special. The funny thing is that when it gets in the mouth and you start chewing on it, it kind of disappears. I have never tried any kind of candy like this before, like chocolate with this kind of texture before. Very crumbly. I've got chocolate everywhere right now. I'm just like, ah! To me, probably a tiny bit too sweet. And because there isn't any crunchy bits in it, it is just, Sweet on sweet on nothing. It is more of a sugary taste that you've got in your mouth afterwards. It is probably gonna be a six out of 10 happy smiley candy faces. The texture is really, really fun. That's what makes it like special, I guess. But the actual chocolate is not my favorite. It's, it's a bit too sweet and a bit too sugary. But once again, A plus for the freaking packaging. That was kind of cool. Next up, we've got some ginger nut biscuits. Woo -woo. These are from the brand Best In. If I've ever tried them before, don't think so. The only kind of biscuits that I remember having tried are those digestive. They're not really my favorite. They're kind of like crumbly and boring and just, it's a biscuit. Packaging really standard for a biscuit company, I guess. Oh, it smells like ginger. What the hell? That is weird. Obviously, it's called ginger and not biscuit. So here's what it looks like. It's actually quite small. As I said, the smell is really ginger nut-ish. Kind of Christmassy actually. I like that it looks really flaky and so on. It actually reminds me of those biscuits in Pocahontas. You know, with Miko. Without further ado, let's try this biscuit. Cheers. That was tough. <laughs> Great crack. Oh my god. Mmm, <laughs> these are good. Let me just say it really tastes like Christmas to me. A mixture between Pionola and Punkea. I actually really like them and I like them they're so tough. It's a tough cookie. Honestly, I didn't expect to like it as much as I do because normally I think biscuits and just cookies in general, they're really, really boring. Mmm, 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 mmm. To me, this is Christmas in a biscuit. The aftertaste is a bit spicy in the mouth. I think it's because of the ginger nut thing. I would probably give it a good solid 7 out of 10. Reason being that biscuits all in general aren't my favorite kind of things to eat, but compared to like that it's a biscuit and that I really do like it, 7 is a really good rating. So. You did well, girl or guy. Next, let's try this one. This is from Cadbury once again. It's called Picnic. 
Picnic. Picnic? This is the crunchy, chewy, fruity feast. And then there's some peanuts on there and some raisins as well. So as I said, it's both fruity and crunchy and yeah, chewy as well. Look at that. <laughs> that is definitely something. The packaging is really, really fun. I like that you can see all of the different textures, actually, that you can see the peanuts in there and also some raisins and whatever. And the smell is definitely chocolate mixed with raisins mixed with peanuts. Without further ado, let's get it down. I like this already now. Mm -hmm. Don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Definitely crunchy, definitely chewy. The only thing that I haven't found is the raisins and the fruit. And the thing that really pops up into my head when I taste this and when I eat it is that sneakers taste. But I don't get where the raisins are. So that kind of like disappoints me a tiny bit because I was waiting for that as well to give that bit more of a sweeter, tangy thing. Mmm! Found a raisin! There! So there's definitely more peanuts and everything else than raisins, but I found a raisin, so that is good. I would actually rate this a freaking 9 out of 10! Yes! I did it! The thing that could make me give this a 10 would be if it was dark chocolate that was coating it. That could have been freaking good. Wanna save you for later, but I'm kinda like, I want another bite. Papa, can you hear me? What to do now? Eat it? Okay. Right, let's move on to the Cadbury Dairy Milk Marvelous Creations Jelly Popping Candy Bar. Look at that freaking packaging. That is so much fun, like an explosion. It says here in the back, milk chocolate with fruit flavored jellies. I've never tried that before. Hot kef sili. Tea stili. Since the new update, am I the only one thinking the Siri has gotten so Irritating? Sorry, Siri, I don't want to hurt your feelings. You're just, yeah, really annoying. You see? Oh my god, it smells fun. That is so cool, kind of like divided into sections. And then there's kind of like different textures on them. I don't know if you can see it on the different um, squares. It smells really chocolatey. Right now, I can't smell the fruit. Let's say cheers. I guess the thing that really gets into my mind is just milk chocolate with some small sugary bits in there that kind of goes crunchy and there's not really that many jellies in there. I've only had one so far and I took a big bite. And the jelly is stuck to my teeth now. Ew. I don't know. I mean, I expected something else from this. I expected it to be probably a bit more <laughs> fun. And honestly, the number one flavor that I get is just straight up really sweet chocolate. I don't know if you can see it on the chocolate pot, but there's also some um, blue speckles on there. That is kind of cool. I actually think it's great packaging, but the flavor is kind of like so-so. To me, it's probably gonna be either a five or a six happy smiley cami faces. Even though it's good, it's still not as good as I expected. Something that I'm really excited about trying. Arrow! These are from Nestle. And just look at the inside. It's kind of like this, um, crunchy aerated thing, which I think is so much fun. It kind of like reminds me of Maltesers or something like that with the packaging. Oh my god, look at the inside! That is so cool! Do you see the air bubbles? It smells really funny. It doesn't smell like chocolate to me. It's more like milky. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, it's just that. Mm. I know what this tastes like and what it's like. It's like those Kinder Surprise long thingy German candy sweets thing. I expected this to be crunchy like a Malteser and it's not at all. The thing that you see on the inside is kind of like a yogurt milky texture and um, not crunchy at all, just really soft and very smooth in the mouth and actually really enjoyable. I have to give this a 9 out of 10. This is really enjoyable. I would have liked the crunch, but oh well, you can't get it all and this is really, really good. Second to last thing that we have to try is the best in once again. 
coconut cream biscuits, the same company or brand as with the ginger nut biscuits. It looks like a cream biscuit packaging should, right? <laughs> Oh my god, it smells like butter. And also a bit vanilla-ish. Here's what it looks like. I love the little pattern in it. That is so stinking cute. Cheers. I don't think I like coconut. Here's the inside where you can see the cream filling. Um, I, I'm not sure if I like it or not. I mean, it's very buttery, very uncrunchy. There's just something about it that makes me go a bit like things but no things. Um, so for those, it's probably only gonna be a 3 out of 10 happy smiley caring faces because they made me go a bit like <laughs> I didn't really like them. However, ta -da! I saved the best till last, the thing that I'm most excited about trying. It is the Cadbury um, Dairy Milk Oreo Chocolate Bar. OMFG, that sounds freaking amazing. And just to be fairly honest, I love this freaking purple color. It just, it makes me go like, oh, so pretty. Let's open it. Uh, I like this. Small cubes, as you can see, and then it says Cadbury there on them. So a bit more of a detail on the actual chocolate bar. Let's just try to break one off if we can. Ooh. And here's what the inside looks like, as you can see with the creamy filling that you also know from the Oreo. And then on the outside, I don't know if you can see, but there are some dark things that is probably like the cookie from the Oreo. Can't wait anymore, let's freaking try this. So let's say cheers. This is so important. It reminds me of an Oreo cookie with some milky chocolate thing. It just really smells nostalgic and it smells like childhood to me. Just really, really like it. And I like that there's some small crunchy bit as the cookie, Oreo cookie. But the majority of this one is actually the cream filling from um, the Oreo cookie. But this is really enjoyable. I mean, once again, I'm not the biggest fan of milky chocolate and really sweet candy. And I guess even though this is really, really sweet, the nostalgic taste and also just that there's some smaller crunchy bits in there <laughs> it is freaking amazing i'm not gonna lie but let me just say had it been dark chocolate covered it had been out of this world but this is definitely a 10 out of 10 happy smiley candy faces but thank you so very much for watching guys that was all for this Danish girl trying British candy my personal favorite you all know was the one that we ended up with the um, Cadbury Dairy Milk Oreo chocolate bar that is freaking amazing. My least favorite was definitely the um, biscuits, the cream biscuit thing, coconut thing. No, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up because that would help me so freaking much. Remember, I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else. All the way to Great Britain, baby. <laughs> Bye!